Clearing a cloud engineer job interview could be tough. But what if there is one particular section where if you could score even 50%, you could increase your chances of clearing the technical round significantly. That section is called as a scenario based round, wherein the interviewer will give you a scenario and will understand how you would implement your design thinking and understand the overall problem statement and provide the solution for that particular problem. And generally interviewers will give you a case study. So in this particular video, we'll understand how to tackle this common evergreen scenario based question using dummy case study of a company travel X. So now this is not a one particular question. It will be a question where you will have multiple parts and you have to break down and go in a logical in an analytical manner to answer every question. And this showcases that you not mugged up definitions of particular cloud services. You have actually used it. You know the real life use cases of these services. And if given a chance, you could also help deploy this solution on cloud. So let's understand this whole scenario based question, how we can tackle it. And best part is there is no right and wrong guys. One person could answer it in a different manner. Other uh, person could answer it in a different manner. But as far as you are in the right direction and if you are approaching the problem with the right frame, the interviewer will definitely give you high marks on that. So friends, let's try to solve this particular case study. And the idea is to understand the problem and then come up with a particular solution which could be on AWS, which could be on Azure, which could be on GCP. So the services does not matter here. What matters is how you understand the problem and give a solution to that particular problem. So let's start. So friends, TravelX is a travel company and uh, this particular company is planning to launch its brand new website on cloud. Why? Because they are expecting a huge surge in demand in the coming holiday season and they anticipate that their current legacy application might not be able to stand to that kind of demand and they might face financial losses. That's why they have come up with this new project which is to develop a new website on cloud. But there are certain conditions which needs to be met and those conditions are the application should be able to meet the spiked demand during the holidays that is the primary use case the second one is it the performance should be the fastest across the globe because the customers for travel x are from different geographies the third one is that critical business functions of the uh, of this particular application like payment search browsing and booking all this should have a 99.99% availability. So these modules should never go down. Uh, the sensitive data of the customer like personal information, credit card information, all that should always be protected. And finally, optimizing for the lowest cost possible on cloud. So now let's understand how we can tackle these different five requirements uh, for travel X using our understanding of cloud. And again, I'm reiterating there is no right and wrong here. OK, there could be certain uh, services which could be uh, used interchangeably, but we are not trying to give a 100 percent accurate answer. What we are trying to do here is first of all, the requirement and then how we are approaching to solve it. So friends, the very first requirement is of a spiked demand because it is a holiday season. So basically what uh, we are talking about is is implementing elasticity. What is elasticity? Elasticity means that you can stretch and then you can come back to normal whenever it is needed. OK, so that is what the interviewer is expecting from you. He wants to understand whether you understand this concept or not. And then you could also add that how you can implement elasticity. The very first uh, thing which you can do is implement auto scaling. Because automatic scaling means that whenever there is a surge in demand, you are scaling higher. And then whenever uh, there is a dip, you are coming back to normal. OK, and how you can do it now, there are certain things you can do across different clouds. Uh, there are different options, but I'm giving you a few. So you can use AWS Elastic uh, Load Balancer with EC2 auto scaling groups. So this is specifically for AWS. By the way, if you're new to cloud, you want to start your cloud journey right away, then do check AWS for complete beginner course, which we offer. It is a comprehensive course with more than uh, 11 modules and 12 plus hours of training where we discuss all the core concepts of AWS. So the link is in the description and in the pinned comment. Do check it out 
and see if it is uh, worth your time. So in Azure, uh, we have Azure Load Balancer and something which is known as Azure VMSS, which is called as Virtual Mas Machine Scale Sets, which is more or less like auto scaling groups. Similarly, on Google Cloud, we have Google Cloud Load Balancer and Google Compute Engine Auto Scaler. So all these different clouds give different names to similar services. So uh, depending on which particular interview you're applying for, which particular role you're applying for, you can uh, give your answers along with these services. Second requirement is of a good performance across globe, which definitely means that the users of TravelX are from different geographies. So how we can approach it? This basically means that you need to be as close as possible to your customer. And this can happen when you deliver content as closely as possible. And this happens using content delivery network. Because content de delivery networks are your delivery points across globes. So while your, you know, your actual data center could be in one location, you could have these content delivery networks, which will act as those points from where it would be much faster to deliver content to the customer. For example, if you're deploying a website, your static content could be much closer to the customer uh, using content delivery network so that all those static uh, pages could be loaded very quickly, very fast uh, using CDN. Uh, AWS provides AWS CloudFront as a CDN solution. Azure has Azure CDN and Azure Front Door. And Google Cloud has GCP Cloud CDN. So these are the offerings. But the main point is, if you're talking about good performance across globe, you need to leverage content delivery network. So now TravelX also wants 99.99% availability for critical business functions like search, browse, payments and bookings. So what does it indicates? It indicates that we need a loosely coupled uh, application. We need a loosely coupled architecture. So TravelX could be a monolith for now where everything is like a three tier architecture. You have all different functions deployed on a single uh, server. But now if we want to enable these critical business functions with 99.99 availability, we are actually talking about converting it into a microservices uh, application, breaking a monolith into a microservices application. And along with that, we have to provide multi zone or multi region availability in, in whichever cloud we are deploying. In AWS, one way to achieve that is using EKS, which is Elastic Kubernetes Service and from the database standpoint, because when you will deploy this, you will have payment as a different microservice, booking as a different microservice, you would have search as a different microservices, and all these different microservices will have different needs. Uh, some microservice will need relational database, some will need NoSQL database. So you have to design your application in such a manner that every uh, critical function is having its own database and its own redundancy and uh, availability. AWS, it's EKS, RDS we can use for relational and DynamoDB with global tables uh, for 99.99% for availability. There is a multi availability zone option uh, within RDS, which makes it more available across multiple zones. So even if one particular failure happens in one particular zone, your data is still intact. Your application is still available. Azure writes AKS, which is Azure Kubernetes service. You can use Azure SQL for relational database. It has geo replication similar to what we have in RDS, which is multi AZ and Cosmos DB is the no SQL offering. In GCP, we have cloud spanner. Uh, is it, it is a fully managed uh, SQL uh, database, uh, which is offered by Google Cloud. And uh, for NoSQL, we have Firestore. So based on your particular TravelX application architecture, we can break it down into a microservice and provide 99.99% availability to critical business functions. So for securing customer data, there could be n number of services offered by different cloud providers. But the, the rationale behind is, is that everything on cloud should be stored 
securely and most importantly it should be encrypted so for encrypting the best thing which you need is having a key to encrypt or decrypt the data and for that you have key management service so for aws you have key kms aws kms key management service and then you have uh, amazon uh, certificate manager for encrypting uh, ssls it provides ssl certificates for example for encrypted uh, https uh, communication and identity and access management is common across everywhere you need identity and access management so i have, I have not shunned under azure or google cloud it's self-explanatory uh, azure key vault is uh, the service which azure offers active directory azure ad security center all these are certain services which will make sure that you are monitoring uh, your security policies on cloud google cloud again provides kms identity and access management and uh, there is a service which is called as IAP which is identity aware proxy so with these and with a lot of different tools and services you can make sure that your data is encrypted in transit as well as uh, in at rest uh, it has to be secured and apart from this you can have an add-on where you could have a strong data governance policy on cloud which will ensure that you are categorizing the data and you are applying uh, data governance policies to make sure that the right data is stored at a right place with the right method so for the last requirement which is to save cost and make sure that we are optimizing for lowest cost we can optimize for it almost anywhere on cloud you just need to be aware of what are your requirements how and how you can best meet those requirements with lowest cost possible and that is where you have to save cost and you should plan for efficiency with lowest of prices and for example aws provides saving plans committed use discounts and you have cost explorer where you where you could input everything and understand what should what is your forecasted budget uh, based on your requirements but most importantly there is this new domain which is appearing which is called as finops and the whole concept around finops is to optimize for best costing budgeting around cloud making sure that whatever we are planning and budgeting we are not exceeding those budgets so finops is coming and it is becoming a, a domain in itself if you want a video on finops let me know in the comment and i'll make one on finops and i have not mentioned because uh, it is a wide area we cannot specify but similar services are there on azure and google cloud but now just imagine that you are at the end of your answer and you are giving this explanation understand that interviewer now understand you better he understands that you have worked on cloud he understands that you have the rationale why you are giving these answers you are not simply giving the services but you are also explaining the logic and the rationale why you have come to these services so we started with the common case study and then we broke it down into different requirements and then we further broke it down into different solutions to those five uh, requirements i guess guys this might be helpful for you if you have watched till uh, this far thank you so much for your patience i have made a similar video on networking interview questions because networking is again a very common topic asked across board be it cloud or be it uh, you know on prem wherever you apply for any role you need to have basic understanding of networking so do check out the, that video uh, and uh, until next time keep learning keep sharing and keep hustling bye for now